getting on the bus to go to middle school camp, and right before you did, your mom reached out and was like, hey, take this disposable camera, have fun. And then over the course of that week, you had 27 photos to try to document this greatest week of your life. All right, now in a nice orderly fashion, get off my bus! But what if you didn't have to only take 27 photos? What if you embraced something like, say, digital technology? that allowed you to take way more than that while still having the simplicity of the experience. Well, I guess that exists and it's called, ah, and it's called the Camp Snap. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're making this too hard. I definitely enjoy disposal cameras. I like the little fi look of them and they're super fun. And I also am secretly trying to create an environment where my daughter likes photography as well. And so with that, I've always been giving her cameras to take pictures with. So for her, I've usually been using this, which is the Ricoh Auto Half SE2. I give this to her mostly because it's a half frame camera. And the thought being there is that with it, I get more photos. So she's not gonna waste quite as much film. And it's a little bit more economical than just like having a five-year-old. And for me, uh, I've also used this, which is the Lomography Simple Reusable. I've used that a bunch, which is a really fun way to keep using things. And I can put like bulk rolled film into it and stuff and try to save some money that way. But both of those are, you know, in the end, they're still film. And so when you are using cameras just for fun, just for, you know, going out with your friends, hanging out, leaving it around the house, you're still gonna be spending 50 cents to a dollar per photo. And no matter how you look at that, that starts to add up. So that's where the Camp Snap comes in. And this is basically a digital disposable. I have a present for you that I got for when we go to South America. Yeah, no. It's a special camera though, because it doesn't have film in it. So you can take as many pictures as you want with it. I really didn't want to have to bring her her own film camera and I didn't want to have to with flying and traveling and all that kind of stuff deal with more film. So I wanted a camera that she'd be able to use. It'd be really easy, but also most importantly, wouldn't have a screen on it. And that was kind of the whole thing is like, I really like her shooting film because I don't know if other parents have this thing or even just have seen it in this. Take a picture immediately, how'd that picture turn out? Take a picture, how'd that picture turn out? And it just pulls you back out of that moment a lot. And if we're doing cool things, I don't want a scenario where we're on our vacation, we're doing cool things, and Lena is just sitting there looking at the back of a screen and trying to figure out if the photos she took are any good. I did one upside down. Yeah? Oh, let's try this take a picture at the same time. Uno, dos, tres. <gasps> Before I dive too deep, I should say I bought this myself. This is not a sponsored thing. So let's talk about the Camp Snap itself. Um, I think this camera runs about like 50 bucks, which American, which uh, honestly, if you're trying to compare it to film stuff, like a normal disposable, if you buy it and get it developed is like probably gonna run you 30, $35. So it's, it's not much more than what you spend for one disposable to have something for ever. The camera itself has an eight megapixel sensor in it, which is pretty small by modern standards. But honestly, again, you're not buying this because you think it's gonna be crazy high quality. Like, get that out of your brain right now. This, do not buy this camera because you think it's gonna be the same as a modern mirrorless camera or something like that. It, it is not going to be that, so just don't even think about that. But the camera is super simple, it's super light. It has a very similar ergonomics to like a disposable camera, like they feel really similar. Although actually holding these together, the Camp Snap is definitely a touch lighter. I'm not gonna go get a scale and actually compare them, but it's a little bit lighter to my hand, not that either of them weigh a lot. As far as using it, it's very simple. You simply just hold this button on the top for three seconds and You hear that beep and that means it's turned on and it kind of flashes a little bit on the back and then it shows you how many photos have been taken. Uh, it comes with a four gigabyte SD card mounted inside of it. Obviously you can change that and put a bigger one if you'd like to, but that probably, I think they say that that should get you around 2000 photos before you would need to clean, but the battery probably only lasts for about 200 photos. 
Um, as far as charging it goes, there's just a little port here on the bottom and you'd pop that open and you can plug it in. You could either just plug it to USB-C, so you could either just plug it into a wall socket and charge it that way, or if you're gonna plug it into your computer, I don't know, I'm probably gonna offload it most times when I'm charging it. So therefore then that 2000 photos thing really doesn't matter to me. Uh, the only other settings that exist here is on the back. There is a little toggle switch here that adjusts if the flash works or not. There's either off, on, or automatic. And honestly, most of the time, I just leave it on automatic and let the camera do its job, um, which is super super helpful. And then the viewfinder is right here, and it is a great viewfinder. Like, you put it to your eye, and it's big, it's bright. I handed this thing to Lena, and I've watched her over the years. She's learned how to use this half-frame viewfinder and, like, can figure it out and can take her pictures. But this thing, a five-year-old took it, and it just went straight to her eye, easy, started taking pictures. You can go over there and take a picture if you want to. And again, that is the point, is I want this thing for my kid to be able to just go and start taking pictures and having a blast. And she was so stoked when I handed it to her. We were in the car and she was in the back seat. She was like, oh, but these cameras, I have to wait until we get home because we only use them when we're outside. I was like, no, dude, that thing has a flash. What? I was super stoked and we were able to just like start taking photos and having fun with it. But yeah, it is a really fun camera to have. And I kept it in my pocket for this last weekend. It just kind of had it everywhere. I went, it was just around the family in our living room having fun. Uh, I had uh, my friend Halloween party and brought it to that. And then went to like clean a soccer game. And then I went to a concert and stuff. And so it just really, it's great to have a different camera that's in my pocket. Cause even for me, I still had that, I still have that tendency when I use my phone, take the picture, look at it immediately. Like, oh, did I take a good picture? Should I take it again? And just to have, not necessarily the trust, but just that, well, that's the picture I took and be done with it and not have to think about it. Or, you know, maybe take two and then move on or something. But it's, it's easy to just take it and move on and get back to your life because there is no way to see the photos in the moment. And then later to be able to come back and then, you know, do what you want and stuff. And so if you are at a concert and you want to make a post to Instagram right away, this is not the thing for you. Don't, it just, Maybe now with the new iPhones that have USB-C, maybe there'd be a way, you probably could figure out a way to make that transfer happen. Um, but I do not have one of those iPhones, so I do not know. Also, it just looks cool. It definitely has like a disposable vibe, but it also has like kind of a fancy little vibe. The, the fake leather, which is definitely just plastic on here, and I have the, the green one, they have a bunch of different colors. Um, but it definitely is supposed to have kind of that same vibe as like my Leica M6. The people that were trying to make the Camp Snap were definitely looking at Leicas when they tried to make it. They were like, we're gonna try to make a weird stylistic hybrid of a disposable camera and a Leica and put it into one body. Now, when I say we're gonna take the combination of a disposable and a Leica and put it into one body, that makes me think, oh my gosh, this thing must be fantastic. The images must be great. And I'm going to be 100% honest and say they're a bit of a letdown. And this is kind of the only problem, but it's a really big problem I have with this camera. I honestly would not recommend this camera to someone who is not a professional photographer and does not spend a lot of time working in Lightroom. The fact of the matter is I don't think the sensor looks very good. I think the photos turn out grainy and they look just so noisy. And it doesn't matter if it's daytime or nighttime. And even in the daytime, I found that it really struggled to have a consistent white balance. And I think the night photos are actually where it shines. That's its, its best use case is the night photos, like the photos at the party, the photos even of the band on stage and stuff. I think those look the best, but the inconsistency with the white balance and the high noise are a bummer. And so if you don't know how to fix that, then you're gonna come away being really disappointed in these photos really quickly. Um, I spent a lot of time working them. I've tried to kind of develop presets and I kind of have a couple different looks and stuff and trying to make them more filmy and then run them through some denoising software and adding some sharpness and trying to bring stuff back. But that's kind of stuff that, because I am a professional, I spend a lot of time in Lightroom, like that's really easy for me to do and something I'm doing anyway. And so it doesn't take that long, but Again, if you were looking for something that'd be easy and fun to take around, and then you probably want to post it to social media, if you don't have that computer in the middle, this is a tricky tool because both getting it to a computer 
because that's the only way you can get the photos off and then also getting the process to making them look good and then getting them ready for social media is not that's not the easiest thing and so i hope that this is just the v1 i hope that they have like a version 2 that comes out someday that maybe it would have just a slightly better sensor <laughs> um, but also maybe you could preload some vintage filters onto it or something like that and I, I mean, i'm just kind of spitballing ideas and stuff because that's really what you want you're buying this because you want that kind of vintage feel and that's what most people who do use it end up to edit to kind of try to make it look like disposable film photos and stuff but it takes some work to do that and so to have maybe more consistency within those kind of things might be kind of nice or i don't know i'm just just ideas anyway though I do think this is super cool, and if you do use Lightroom, if you do are good at editing, then this is an awesome option. And Or if you're going to give it to your kid and somebody who really doesn't care as much about the quality of the outcome, then it's also a great option. Because like I said, there's no screen, it's just a thing that you can take a picture, enjoy the moment, and then get back to enjoying the moment is an awesome tool. And I'm really excited to see the images she makes when we're on our trip. And to know that she's creating memories and documenting her memories in her own way as we're all enjoying this trip will be really cool to see. So thanks for watching. See you around.